so we completed the russian revolution right so in the russian revolution we came to know about the tsar right and his behavior and then lenin came and lenin said something and then the russian revolution started and this this is all about the first world war right and then after the first world war we should know about yes you should know about the russian revolution okay so these are the important points about the russian revolution and as well as for the first world war okay so now i like we'll have a discussed on the dictators i know ki this i had been finished so just have a look on here so that you will get an idea ki what and all about the dictators so dictators in the sense i told you about the two main important dictators that is yes hitler and as well as mussolini okay so in today's video let's have a discussion so just have a recap first of all okay you you may have a look on yuri de grand who was he he was the first astronaut those who went to the ussr what did they did they did a for like five year plan right and as well as they started so here so we completed about this okay so the first world war russian revolution so in the russian revolution yuri garga yuri gagarin so he was the first sat like he was the first astronaut what did why where did he went he went to the uss or launched the first satellite in the history of human civilization okay you may have a look on his picture how he used to look like okay so now we'll have a look on the second world war okay so what is the second world war before that yeah it's my mistake so before that we should know about the hitler so he, here you may have a look on on the gorbachev who was he any idea who was he what he did okay so here the many reform like gorbachev the he was the one who says about president of ussr okay so he was the president of ussr okay then here you you may have a look on glasnost and prestroika so meaning was there in your textbook as well so here the most famous that is hitler so we came to know about ki hitler so we used to say in our daily life oh, you are not smiling you are looking like an hitler but that hitler word we get to know ki how cruel he was so it's not that much easy to give a name as a hitler because before giving the name you should know okay so hitler in the sense this is the meaning of it okay so now you may have a look on this person gobbles so go back to your class what did i tell you about the gobbles so he spread the theory of nazism so fix this person in your mind okay so he was the man who did like that so he spread the nazism so here you may have a look on the see here you may have a look on the hitler and his army okay the army is nazi party okay nazi party so here and then brown shirt so you can have a look on the brown shirt as well so they have one motto that to kill murder or whatever they want to do they are ready to do and they are they were doing as well okay so then next so here you may have a look on the mass mass killing so you by this picture you will get like how cruel he did how cruel he was okay so here see he didn't see about how the people was what they are doing this mass killing is called holocaust so holocaust in a sense 1 million okay 1 6 million jews and 1 million other caste that is okay so other caste also killed okay he didn't he didn't focused on the jews he also focused about the catholics okay then he yeah catholic socialist communist people right so he used to kill them 
okay he didn't say he, he was a child or he was or uh, she is our lady no she is an old woman no they used to kill each and everyone okay so he is and here so nuremberg class so what's that nuremberg class concentration camp so what in that camp used to the camp used to say as a gas chamber why because they have to fix the jews and other people in the concentration camp and they will be a gas chamber and finally they'll go to the dead bed okay so then hitler died okay why did he died he didn't died he got he committed suicide okay so here why did he did, like why did he do that what make him to do that suicide please go and search in a google ki what's the main, like main reason to make to feel himself that he should commit a suicide okay so you have to look on that and now here about the muslimi so he is up from the hitli yeah okay so and then he also he was a friend and he was a member to hitler okay why because how he used to do like that the same thing they are also doing here, over here okay now then he opposed like he destroyed the political opponents those who were come near in front of him he used to destroy them okay he thought that i am only the king of the world so he used to say like that and even to ha huh. so even hitler as well okay so now we'll have a look on yes we have a look on second world war the first world war i discussed with you right you you understood it well and you made a mind map and you tried to make a flow chart but you are making for yourself so for that again you have to do one thing what's that so dictators for the dictators also try to make a mind map and as well as flow chart try to make a both charts okay so then you can able to make it a revise okay this is this is uh, the plot summary from this mind map and from the flow chart okay so by revising it you will get an idea ki how you can do it with a better way okay so now we'll have a look on the second world war okay so second world war so let me tell you one thing first world war name okay the first world war name was given during the time of second world war why because the first world war they thought this is a global war because of this war the world is going to an end but it couldn't happen so again they didn't thought ki again the war is going to start but again the bad the cruel war started and that war is called second world war okay so we should pray and each and every second each and every day that please god please save us from the third world war okay so third world war should not be happen so we have to pray like that why you know from the first world war a lot of members lost their lives it's not lakhs it's not thousands it's million billion people of members lost their lives so now we'll have a look so second world war before one could forget the death of misery could caused by the first world war when the second world war started no one was forget about the first world war again the second world war started okay so it was started with germans occupation of poland on september 1 1939 okay so it was started with german poland in september 1939 okay so here the second world war is a heinous and devastating war that has ever taken place in the history of human civilization so here the second point the first point over here what you have to understand the second world war has become a more cruel than the first world war okay and then second here in this war how many countries joined they are more than not less than more than 30 countries directly participated in this war okay so this war took place between 1939 to 1945 so here you can have a look on the span of this war okay 
so for this war how many countries 30 countries more than 30 countries okay so you may have a you may have an idea ki previously there's just six to seven countries and now they are the more than 30 countries so what's the motto of this i am a superior i am a superior so like that like that only they are going to destroy their own economy they didn't understand that on that time okay so here the rich country so the rich country spent their money on war they experienced great economic depression during 1970 1930s okay so the rich countries those who are the rich countries okay that country what they did they expense their money towards the war okay on that time you may have a look on here there was a lot of economic problem so here you may have a look on the four children for sale it's it's not an easy matter for a mother okay the mother was selling to his own to her own ch children okay so we can have a like we can imagine ki how bad situation on the time so here also you can see the, another picture why can't you give my dad a job so unemployment was high on that time next so what will be the resulted on this war so the result of this war is great hardship in the europe and us okay when this war happened so there was a lot of economic problem first point and second point here there was great hardship so they can't able to say yes or no because they are in a middle situation there is a lot of economic problem unemployment problem poverty each and everything was there okay the life standard of the people dropped drastically the growth of industries and agriculture stagnated the problem of unemployment become more okay so in this point europe and usa was struggling a lot and then what have why why did why do why they are struggling a lot the reason is the law like the people drop drastically the people don't have a job on the time a lot of people lost their lives a lot of, lot of uh, factories industries also they are not ready to hire the people if they are hiring the people if they are hiring the candidates they have to pay them right you can have a look on this pandemic time they are they are a lot of members they lost their jobs okay they can't able to go if they want to go okay if i want to if i want a best job so i'll go and i'll give my interview i'll give i got selected and they will say the one point you are selected please come after the lockdown so you may have a you can imagine the lockdown still it's going on okay so it's not going on but the pandemic was there so there is a lot of economic problem so we can have a look on this okay next is this the nationalism nationalism started okay the rights for the equality was started where in germany okay and other european countries due to the loss of finance suffered in the first world war difficulties agreement enforced on the countries like germany and subsequent laws suffered by them okay so here the nationalism started in germany and, and other so many countries from the europe and that's why because because of the first world war they suffered a lot of finance problem that is economic problem okay the big industrialized funded more money to nourish ultra nationalism in germany and other countries of europe and then those who have the big industries factories they'll borrow a money okay they'll funded them so that they can control the people of their own country okay and by utilizing the money also if i gave you the money okay I borrowed the money so I am a Germany or, or you can think that you are a Germany and I am a big industrial city okay so I gave a money to you okay so I gave a money so my work was over so what's your responsibility you have to give that money to your people right but by giving the money also there was a lot of hate and egoistic movements started okay in these countries countries in the sense germany and as well as other countries in europe okay when i gave you the money so your responsibility is to distribute that money but you are taking care of your own people you are not interesting towards the other people so it started hating each other 
okay you are two friends so i gave you the 10 rupees so five ru 10 rupees you have i gave you the 10 rupees so you have to keep five rupees to you and you have to give back that five rupees to your another friend but you're not giving you just gave a one rupee or one and a half rupee so that started hating each other okay and then hitler so here you may have like hitler emerged as a dictator in the germany and Mussolini emerged in a dictator in italy so during that time itself hitler and Mussolini came so they we know right how they are so here also the main big reason okay reason is no equality among themselves okay then in east asia japan attacked china to expand its territory okay the east asia japan so the east asia japan what they did so they attacked china why did they attack to expand its territory because why japan was a small tukri so small country so they need a place so for that sake they are fighting okay so here the first japan started then during second world war two group emerged so then two groups started so before we know about the first world war groups right now here are also the two groups so the two groups names is axis and allies okay so axis part will be germany italy and japan okay and then allies part england france russia and other countries were there in allies so axis there are three countries and from the allies there are three countries and as well as other countries as well okay so here you may have a look on the flags that is okay then world war second allied versus axis so now we'll have a look on the second world war so england declared war against germany so first england and germany was a friend so not as a friend as a members okay so they don't think about to fight each other but, but because of the money matter so they started fighting okay so in germany who was there yes hitler was there so i, I told you as it was a friendly country to the poland who was like which country was a friendly Poland? England declared war against Germany and it was a friendly country. It in the sense Germany. Okay. So but in reality did not rush to help Poland immediately. Hence it was occupied by Germany. Okay. So England. England declared war against Germany. Okay. So what happened the, on that time? So England asked help to Poland. But Poland what they did? Poland didn't help to the england so at uh, sorry to the germany so at the end it was occupied by germany okay so i think i, I got i made you confused okay so here what happened england declared war to whom against germany i am england and you are germany okay so i declare war to you okay and it was a friendly country to a poland it was england okay my friend was there and my friend name was poland okay i ask help to the poland please come with me so that we both can occupy germany okay so when we in the sense england and poland but what my friend said my friend said okay okay i'll help you but my friend didn't came to me so there are so many friends okay so you can think this okay my friend also did to me ma'am he said he is going to help me in that during the time of test he didn't help me so like that happened right so here also my friend said okay okay i'll come but he didn't came so he i am just giving a gender to it okay so poland didn't came so england attacked to the germany but germany captured okay but it was occupied by germany it in the sense england okay clear i hope it's clear to you okay so here you may have a look on the germany and it as well as great britain and poland so here you can see my friend was here <laughs> and my friend didn't help to me okay in the meanwhile russia came under the communist rule okay and countries like england france were expecting an attack on russia by germany so then what happened russia came so russia came to the communist rule okay and other countries like england and france was expecting okay like my um, england and poland was there right so england was captured by germany i was captured by you okay but there are two other friends 
okay my friends okay so that friends was expecting okay my i will go and i will fight with them not germany so my other friends okay so they are expecting okay i'll go i'll go i'll go but here yeah, i didn't went <laughs> okay and then on realize on realizing this intention russia entered a non war pact with germany on august 24 1939 39 hence hitler attacked the west instead of the east okay so here on realizing this intention so what intention so you may have a look in meanwhile russia came under the communist rule and countries like england france england yaro nano nane nankonde england and france were expecting nano matte france was expecting to attack russia in by germany okay so on realizing this intention this intention is okay i am expecting the you will go you will go and you will fight but you didn't went okay but what you did you did a better work what you did you entered to the non war okay you signed a non war treaty okay on august 24 1939 hence hitler was attacked it attacked the west instead of east okay he made a trick he didn't attack to the west he attacked to the east in 1941 so hitler turned his attention towards russia this forced russia to enter the war okay so you are you kept quiet but what germany did hitler what he did he attacked to you okay he poked your nose okay so he came and he said we you have kept quite come 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 so he called to the russia and with angry he came russia came okay hitler entered an agreement with italy and attacked denmark norway poland and captured most of the western europe so italy mussolini okay so this they both okay they both entered an agreement so they said see my country my this is germany country lost so many economic problem okay everyone pushed the blame to me okay so i have to take a revenge and what it you said yes everyone was telling that i was not with you during the time of first world i'll come with you see both the members talked with each other and they started okay and they captured attacked so many countries here you may have a look on the denmark norway poland okay and other country as well now in the same time japan joined germany okay so japan joined germany japan attacked those places that were the west of pacific ocean so pacific ocean which belong to usa and other european countries okay italy and germany tried to occupy the british colonies in north africa and swiss canal but failed okay they tried to occupy this swiss canal but again not again but first they failed in 1942 russia defeated german force in stalingrad okay next over here in 1943 germany faced a series of defeats in the european sorry eastern europe so in 1943 what happened germany faced a series so when germany was getting a victory so in 1943 they started facing a defeats in the eastern europe here russia supported the allied force the allied force occupied italy then russia support allied force and allied force what they did they occupied italy usa defeated japan and regained its lost island in pacific ocean and finally usa defeat japan and usa gained its island that is pacific ocean germany surrendered due to the march of red army and allied force into berlin hitler committed suicide in 1945 then finally ha huh, a villain that hitler committed suicide okay why did he do that you have you have to search that and you should tell me because of this he did that okay now so here you may have a look this is a bad situation actually usa dropped the first atomic bomb of the world on hiroshima so the usa did a big mistake that is they dropped a first atomic bomb 
on Hiroshima and Nagasaki of Japan. This resulted in the death of lakhs of people. Okay, so because of this one bomb, because of that one mistake, lot of people lost, lot of innocent people lost their life. Okay, we don't need this such kind of wars over here. So here you may have a look, little boy. So the for that war. Okay, now Japan is still facing the effect. Still now Japan is facing that effect of this attack. When did when did this attack happen? So it happened in August 15, 1945. Okay, so we used to sell okay, August 15, 1947. What happened? Yes, okay, but here August 15, 1945, some bad happened on this time. Okay, Japan surrendered completely as always. Like you did something to me, so I don't have a courage to stand in front of you, so I should bend down so that's the thing happened to the japan so he surrendered completely with this the allied for achieved the complete victory okay huh. bad thing seriously huh now the second world war caused utmost misery and death in the human history so the first world war there are so many people they lost their lives so here also happened the same it also change the social political and economic changes in the world okay because of this thought of economic social changes started in the place of league of nations uno came into existence okay so league of nation in the place of that uno came united nation organization okay the winning countries of the second world war England, China, USA, USSR, and France became the permanent members of the UN Security Council. Okay, so even today also they became a permanent member. Okay, so you should know who got victory and who lost there. Okay, so that's the Second World War. Okay, I'll continue today itself. So that's the cold war what's the meaning of cold war in today's the weather is so cold so not not like that so cold war was started with the ussr and usa became a powerful rival countries this led to the cold war okay now just think about you and i okay <laughs> the colonies of asia and africa were able to achieve the independence england france and other european countries lost their most of the colonies the indian independence can be understood from this angle also since usa used nuclear weapon in japan nuclear arm race started between the powerful countries so these two points what you have to understand the first in this first point asia and africa got their independence okay and then england france and other Euro european countries lost their colonies okay and the second so the second what happened because of the war what happened in during the war because of that British left a country so we can think like this as well okay why did they left because the USA dropped a nuclear atomic bomb so that the thing they have to go back now we'll have a look on the Chinese in the Chinese revolution China is one of the ancient countries of the world which has rich history even today as well because of the Yes, COVID-19. China was not completely a colony like India when it fought for its independence. Okay. It was a semi-colonial country. It in a sense China. Okay. It was a semi-colonial country as some of the part of it. It was independent. And then it was under the rule of France and Japan also. China was a feudal country, double rule country, okay. China was controlled by landlords and warlords, okay, landlords and as well as warlords. It did not have industries like India. So, you should uh, try to do one thing, try to do a differences between India and as well as Jap Japan, okay. You will have a clear idea about it, okay. Then, in this situation, the integration and unity of China became more important. Okay, because of this situation, because of this situation, okay, what happened? Everyone said, okay, we need a unity. Okay, so for this, what happened? 1911, under the leadership of Kuomintang party leader. Wow, 
I am learning Chinese. Okay, Kuomintang Party leader Sun Yat Sen. Sun Yat Sen. Okay, anti imperialistic democratic revolution took place, but it did not grow fully. Okay, he started his journey to get an equality, but it didn't grow well. Okay, the Communist Party started in China in year 1925. It grew movement in rural areas and cities as well. So, the Communist Party started in China when in 1925 it was started. Okay, so it was rural, rural areas, it grew movements to areas to areas, cities to cities. Okay, and it supported like farmer movement, workers movement in order to build a unified China. The Communist Party and Kuomintang Party work together. There are two parties that is Communist and Kuomintang Party work together. Okay. After the death of Sun Yat-sen, the Kuomintang, Kuomintang Party came into the hand of, yes, oppressionist ruler Chiang Kai-shek. <laughs> he joined, sorry, my pronunciation was not good from the Chinese because I am not a Chinese as well. Okay. So, he joined hands with the imperialistic forces and started attacking the Communist Party. Both the leaders won't be same, right? So, here also the happened the same. Around 70,000 revolutionaries were killed in this attack. Oh my god. In order to protect the Communist Party members, Mao Zedong started Long March to the northern part of the China. So, when it was happening, so who came? Mount Se Tiong. So he came and he started his long march. This is one of its kind military march in the human history. This was welcomed by the rural people with enthusiasm. Okay. So the long march is known as the kind military march in the human history. Okay. Then here during the Second World War, Japan attacked the China. The Chinese Communist Party fought against this and came into prominence during this invention. Japan attacked defeat in 1945. Sorry, Japan accepted defeat in 1945 and Japan started withdrawing from the reign of the China and Communist Party occupied those countries. In the land reforms in all these places, it distributed land to the farmers, this garnered more popularity from the communist party okay so in these two points were there so japan accepted its defeat in the year of 1945 okay and it started withdrawing the force of regions of china okay communist party occupied those area they withdraw the party the colonists what and all they occupied who china okay then it announced okay communist party announced that china announced the land reforms so land reforms in the sense they distributed the land to the Farmers, okay, that became the popularity to the Communist Party. Okay, like this, more area came under the control of Communist. Okay, so here you may have a look at the Chai Kya Shek. And by 1949, most of the cities came under the control of the Communist Party. And here the name called Chai Kya Shek had to run away to Taiwan. Okay, so... Next, over here, on October 1st, 1949, People Liberalization Army entered Peking, that is Beijing. Like the People's Republic was established in China, Mao Zedong became the president of China. Okay, so Mao Zedong became the president of China and they started the Liberation Army. Okay, so here you may have a look of him. After the revolution, community farming was introduced in china all were provided with free health education and other facilities important was importance was given to science and theology in order to achieve growth in industrialization leap forward program was planned with implementing the private property was converted into public property the private into public property okay while implementing these policies the cultural revolution many mistakes were committed okay in order to rectify these mistakes thanks your bought into many reforms 
and then what happened china capitalist principle within the framework of communism and moving ahead the major economic force with the communist party leadership cold war the mistrust competition and fear that emerged between the two blocks of the world after the end of the second world war is called cold war in the cold war between the capitalist bloc led by usa and the communist bloc led by ussr okay the question whether communist or capitalist is the right answer for the elevation of the human problem had always divided into the human society mm -mm. so here what you have to understand the communism or the capitalism may be the right answer to the evolution of human problem but they have divided the human society as well in the year of 1917 and then after uh, after the end of the second world war they remained so till collapse ussr in in 1989 india egypt and other countries started non allied movement and stay away from blocks okay they started allied movement and they made a great decision that i am going to stay away from this okay and due to the cold war what happened competition and stockpile weapons grew usa gained upper hand so usa started getting upper hand in the weapons trade agreement okay next it formed military organization and so many nato that is north atlantic treaty organization was also started okay and as well as cito cito in the sense southeast asian trade Treaty organization was started, and then Cento, Central East North Treaty Organization was formed under the leadership of USA. USSR, where so organization is formed. Okay, and then in every state of USA, huge arms manufacture factories were formed. USA became like competition for nuclear weapons increased okay usa became the most powerful country because they have a uh, arms they have weapons each and everything they have okay and intelligence networks was also started to have a better technology increase and then during that time also technology was started okay so korean war so i don't think that कि यहाँ द कोरियन वॉर वियतनाम वॉर एंड द स्विस कैनल क्राइसिस ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स वॉज ऑल्सो सो कोरियन वॉर वियतनाम वॉर एंड स्विस कैनल क्राइसिस ऑफ नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स वॉज ऑल्सो स्टार्ट ओके द बर्लिन क्राइसिस एंड द कूबन मिसाइल क्राइसिस एंड दर सो मेनी वॉज दट हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ द कोल्ड वॉर ओके so equal basis why did this why did the cold war happen because i am a powerful you are a powerful for this type of confusion this war was started okay usa was successful getting the control the resources of the world ussr became victim to economic crisis and more other internal crisis so ussr was got a victim and usa became a more powerful okay and then only powerful country after this only usa became the powerful country okay the great economic depression that affected usa in 1927 brought in many changes in political of usa okay tribal entity with money on soldiers in 1929 usa experienced stagnation in economic development okay so because they don't have a money so this was happened who usa as a result output dropped in automatically in agriculture there was also dropped out of the consumer durables manufacturing mining buildings so each and everything started changing in the politics okay so japan attacked pearl harbor the military of base of usa so here you can see here so again japan attacked this made usa to enter the war in favor of the allied force the president roosevelt made people to be ready for the war okay and then he honored so he encouraged women to work in public sphere okay who encouraged women that is fd roosevelt okay it also had the established on to un war during the war and later provided support to it okay and then usa has emerged a powerful country after 1945 okay so
that's the end of today